hello my friends welcome to the channel if you love autumn colors you're going to love today's video where we draw some super easy autumn doodles using nothing but brush pens in warm earthy tones so grab your pens and a piece of paper and let's get started the first one is a simple maple leaf I mark an X as a guide and use that guide to draw a five-pointed leaf just around the guide and put a stem at the base. Just fill it in with some color. Now I will be using a black brush pen to outline my doodles today. There's something very joyous about drawing lines with a brush pen because you can vary the thickness of the line depending on the amount of pressure that you apply. Um, so it's really a lot of fun. Maybe I'll talk more on that in some other video. <laughs> Let's draw some oak leaves now. So you start with a center line and draw this messy wavy shape around it. I used an olive green for the first leaf and for the second leaf uh, let's use some light orange. I'm drawing the veins with the black pen and obviously our outline again. I just love how doing these outlines makes the drawing look so much more lively. How about attaching an acorn to one of the stems? Just using simple basic shapes, color combination of brown and black. I'm drawing a heart-shaped leaf. This is such a simple yet so pretty. It's um, it's one of my favorite things to draw. Little stalk and some veins, and it's done. How about some apples? We start with some C-shaped lines, a pink circle in the middle for where the seeds will go, a little stalk and a green leaf, and that's our apple. Let's do a mushroom. I like to start with an oval cap and then add a stem underneath. The colors are quite light but it all pops when I add that black outline. You can also add some dots or patterns on the cap to give it a more fun look. Next I'm drawing this three pointed leaf. Now I start with a cross or an X and use that as a guide to draw the leaf around it. I'll fill it in and then we do our outline and the veins and a little stalk. How about some berries? Draw a group of circles, join them with a stem and maybe some spikes and that's a pretty little group of berries. I think moths would go really well with this autumn theme. Start with two teardrop shapes for the wings. I'm using olive green for the wings, a little head and a body in brown. Well, the colors are not too distinct here, but don't worry, it all starts to look much more defined once you finish the outline with the black. And finishing off with some green patterns of like dots and lines and there's our moth. The autumn doodle collection would be incomplete without a pumpkin. I do a large orange oval with a dip in the middle then start defining the curves or bumps with some black lines. Start with this oval in the middle and then do these like c-shaped curves on either side and you'll notice that the pumpkin starts to take its shape. Finishing off the pumpkin with a green stalk. I feel that something purple would look really nice sitting next to the orange pumpkin. So I'm just adding um, another oak leaf but this time in purple. Next how about a snail? Start with a curved line for the body, slightly thicken it up. I'm using a brown for the body and uh, we'll put a spiral shell on the top. Eyes and the mouth and uh, that's our snail. I'll also decorate the shell with some spirals and maybe uh, some line patterns as well. I think that'll make the snail look very pretty. Next, a pear. Small at the top, 
wider at the bottom fill it in I'm using olive green here you can leave a bit of a highlight as well if you like and uh, we'll put a little stock after we're done with the outline and that's our cute little pair <laughs> classic leaf necks, two C-shaped curves on either side of a center line. We outline and add some little veins and there we are. Our final element friends and that's a group of berries on a stalk. However, as I'm looking at the page as a whole, I do see some empty spaces in a few places. So I'm just gonna fill up those places with a few more elements. Maybe another maple leaf because they're so pretty. Maybe another acorn. But I don't want to overcrowd the page though. Finally, I like to add some dots and sparkles to tie up the little drawings together. I've had so much fun doing these autumn doodles. I hope you enjoyed them too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.